Hey, this is Harsh Game Reviews. Welcome to the first episode. Today I'll be reviewing Grounded, uh, which is a game I've been playing a lot recently. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Personally, I'd give the game a 5 out of 10 in its current state, but I feel like it has a lot of room to grow in the, um, in the future. Because the game as it is has some definite problems. And I feel like the best way to show that off is a little pros to cons system. So, first off, the game has a great premise. And that's what really pulled me in initially. Because I like um, bugs, I'm into entomology. So, as soon as I saw it was a game where you shrink down to the size of an ant, and you go around and walk around in the universe, in the scope of, like, bugs, I, w I was sold then. And that, that lives up to it. It's a very good um, bug simulator, if you will. Going around, walking with different insects. Very nice. Very nice. Um, but the problem is, there's no story to back it up. There's no, there's no backbone to the game. I mean, they're selling you an idea. The idea of shrinking down to the size of an ant, great. That's, that's fantastic. The concept of it is amazing, but then you think, oh, well, let me play it. And you play it, and you realize there's nothing to do in this. There is nothing to do in this game. I mean, there is some things, but there's no story. So that leads you to go along and do quests and all the basic stuff that you would normally do, because there is one quest giver in the game, and he gives you quests for, um, like, crafting stuff, killing certain types of enemies, and it sounds very good in RPG, but the problem with it is, all he gives you is science, and science is a resource used in the game to upgrade things, certainly, not a problem there, but there's no story. There's, why would you do it? I mean, I guess, as a way of giving yourself a quest to do that thing and upgrade your stuff to the maximum. But after that, what do you do? And I've played this game for like 80 hours. And I can tell you, after playing it for 80 hours plus, that I'm at a loss and I won't be playing it until the next update because each update brings me back. It's not the game itself. So, the thing is, the world and the creatures, very nice. They look very good. I like what Obsidian did with those. And they're actually a little terrifying, honestly. It's kind of like a mini horror game without actually being full horror. I wouldn't know I don't play many horror games, because I'm a little bit of a scaredy cat when it comes to that stuff. But, I will say that it's pretty terrifying when you see a spider at night first time. But what's more terrifying is that nothing in the game matters in terms of progression. I mean, you can get everything in the game. That's, that's cool. And I did that. That was my goal, was to get everything in the game. And I have triplets of every single item in the game right now. And I also wanted to build bases. I have five skyscraper bases in the game right now. If I was not so dedicated to finding ways to make the game fun, I doubt that I would have as much fun. And I certainly doubt that I'd be playing it as much as I had. And have. And that's the problem. There's no story because it's an early access game. And I mean, in a year's time, we'll see. With No Man's Sky, they did it. I wouldn't have bought that at release, but now I have it. And there's a reason for that. It's because they kept putting stuff into it, and that's what matters, and that's what matters in this case, too. But does that mean you should buy it now? Well, here's the thing. The building's great. The world's nice. And, in all honesty, I'd only really... Uh, invest in it 
if that's the sort of thing you're into. A really nice looking world can sell a game. Again, look at No Land Sky. I mean, early, it was the promise of a world that looked good. And a promise of all these functions that you didn't get, but the world looked good. And that's what mattered. And in this case, I actually provide that. But there are glaring issues with the late game that are not fixed yet. So investing in it is a risky proposition, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. I mean, my girlfriend got sick from it because she has a little bit of motion sickness, more than me, and no matter what FOV she used, no matter what resolution or graphical functions I tried to put in to fix it, and I tried everything, it didn't, it didn't change. There was no, there was no real fixing her, her nausea from the game, so that's another thing to keep in mind when purchasing this game, or thinking about purchasing it. And one more thing before I go about the cons, there was a massive lag spike in a certain area of the game, and I died more there than to anything else. To the giant spiders, to anything. To falling damage, nothing killed me as much as the lag. And it's just that one area. And I don't think it's my computer, it's running very well everywhere else. But, eh, it really sucks when you die more to lag than to the game mechanics. So personally, I'd recommend this game right now to people who like to build, because there's plenty of time to build, and I'd offer it to people who like survival, because it does that well. And I, I would say that I offer it to people that like bugs as well, because I do, and it really scratches that itch. And anyone who wants to see the game in the future, but play it right now, I guess, get it now. But only if you really qualify for two of those things. You know, it's... It's a tough call, and whatever choice you make, it's not really going to affect me. So, in the end, buy whatever you want to buy, but I'm just trying to give you some perspective from someone who's played the game a lot, what it's like. Because I wish I had known with a lot of other games, and this is one where you don't know if you're going to like it until you play it, really. I mean, technically, you can look at the, the adverts, but all they ever tell you is, oh, look at all the great features of this game. They never tell you any of the issues, really. Look at Bethesda with Fallout 76. Wish I'd gotten a review of that before I pre-ordered it. And I was one of the pre-orders, which was a nightmare. But, yeah. That's not what this is about. This is about Grounded. Really... That's the reason for the 5 out of 10, is all the late game problems and all the fact that nausea and lag, yeah. All in all, the rest of the game's good, but they need to fix these issues. And it's very grind intensive. Yeah. Well, whatever you do, um, like and subscribe if you want to.